Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and we are on the must know questions and cons. We are in that series. We are in question 27 today. And I hope you are enjoying this series. I hope you watched some of the previous videos, if not all of them. Do try to make sure that you watch all of them because not only have I tried to pick up good quality questions uh, showing you the kind of uh, thoughts that exams will typically ask you of and all aptitude exams in that sense. And not only have I done that, but I also try to give you as unique solutions as possible to those to those questions. I've tried to uh, take you away from the mathematical thought process and try to give you the, the short, shorter uh, logical processes to solving these questions. And again, a, a nice question today. This is based on, uh, on interest in percentages. And uh, I hope you can read this question completely. The question says, uh, three years ago, your close friend, I hope you can see it. So three years ago, your close friend had won a lottery of one crore. So I'm, I'm just reading out the question also, right? Three years ago, your close friend had won a lottery of one crore. He purchased a flat for rupees 40 lakhs, a car for 20 lakhs, and shares worth rupees 10 lakhs. This, this number here is 10 lakhs. So what has he done? He's won a lottery of one crore. And on that, he's purchased a flat of 40 lakhs a car of 20 achhi gaadi liya hoga right a car of 20 and shares of rupees 10 lakhs shares of 10 lakhs so he spent 70 lakhs on these three items and then he says he put the remaining uh, money in a bank deposit that pays compound interest at 12% per annum so the remaining money is 30 lakhs and uh, just to see again in this question, the solving while reading process that you are, you are reacting. Two things it does, it makes your solving faster because you're not going to read a second time the question. And the other thing it does is because you're picking up small chunks of the question rather than picking up a large part of the question at one go, it becomes much easier to resolve what you're doing. So the question quality, difficulty level goes down when you start picking the questions in the right form. So uh, you have this 30 lakhs here. And all my students tell me this, ki, Sir, when you question, it was very easy to answer, but when I was doing it, it was very difficult to So, uska jo, uh, jo key hai, the key to that, why it seems simpler when I would explain a thing to you, and this will happen in DI, LR as well as cons, is the key is because of the fact that, uh, uh, that, that uh, when I'm doing the question, what I'm doing is basically I'm reading the question better. So, if you start doing that, you will also start, and, and reading the question better means reading it in smaller chunks. That's the principal part of, of reading a question better. So understanding where do you cut off your reading, and then you do the reaction. So three years ago, he's invested 30 lakh rupees in something where his compound interest, he's getting a compound interest of 12%. Right? This is the question. If today he sells off the flat, the car, and the shares at a certain percentage of the original value and withdraws his entire money from the bank. That means his uh, deposit, bank deposit of 30 lakhs, he's withdrawing the whole thing. The total gain in his asset is 5%. So what it means is that three years ago, he had invested one crore rupees in the flat, the car and shares and the bank deposit in the, uh, in the division of 40, 20, 10, and 30. And three years later, that means today, this is three years ago. So today, he's selling off all these things, including taking out the money from the bank deposit. And he's getting 1 crore 5 lakhs. 1.05 crores. That means he's got a profit of 5, 5 lakhs overall. Right, and the question is the closest approximate percentage of the original value at which he sold off the three items. The three items means these three items. So what has happened in this case, it's a simple question, it's just the calculative part that is, that you need to organize in this question. So this 30 lakhs at 12% per annum will go grow by 12% of 30, 10% of 30 is 3, and 12% of 30 is 3.6. So it will become 33.6 after one year. Now, the, the challenge becomes the calculations after this. So, 12% more. Of course, if you're in the CAD, this is a very simple question because you can just multiply 30 by 1.212 into 1.12 into 1.12. 1 
But if you're solving this, this question in an exam in which there's no calculator, in that case, you'll have to do work out the calculations. Now, the challenge is to work through 12% of 33.6. So the, the working for that is, let me show that here to you. The thinking for that is this. I want to find 12% of 33.6. So I want to find 10% is 3.36. And 2% is 0.336 and 0.336. So maybe I can take 0.33 and 0.34. Because anyway, I'm, I want an approximation. So, so basically what's going to happen, 3.7 and 4.03 is going to be the addition here. So after two years, my amount is going to become 37.63. And I need an approximate value because then I can, I can see ki how much did I sell the other items for. On ka original cost 40 plus 20 plus 10 tha, 70 lakhs tha. Ab kitne mein bikra hai wo? Wo ke mujhe. Uh, I, can, I can work out the percentage. The approximate percentage of the original price that they sold for. Because the question, uh, the, the, the question is asking us this. When you have a problem understanding ki where you want to take the question to, just take the directions from what is asked. So what is asked is, the closest approximate percentage of original value at which he sold of the three items. So basically, this calculation will come from the ratio 70 divided by the price at which he sold the, those three. 70 is coming from 40 plus 20 plus 10, the flat car and shares. He's invested 70 lakhs. Now what is he selling at will depend on how much. He's got one, one crore five lakhs total back. So how much he's getting back from the bank deposit? Usko hata doge you will get what he's getting from the sale of these three and then you can calculate the percentage. So that's the number you're looking for and that's why we are doing this, right? So ye ho gaya, 37. Or ab iska 12% again. Now you don't need to get very exact. You are at 37.63. You want to increase it by 12% again. So 10% is 3.76 and 1% is 0 0.37 plus 0 0.37, let's say approximate 0.75. So here, Karib 4.5 badega overall, approximately. So this is going to go to around 43, which means uh, 43, 30 lakhs is becoming 43 lakhs. 30 lakhs is becoming 43 lakhs. And uh, if 30 lakhs is becoming 43 lakhs here, that means that uh, the others are getting sold for around 62 lakhs to overcome or uh, to, to meet the 1.05 crore value. So if I'm selling the remaining at around 62, 62, 63 lakhs out of 70 lakhs, the approximate percent that I, I'm selling them at is 90% of the original price. This is the question, calculative, but uh, you have to take, uh, uh, take a process where if uh, you see something to be done in a, in a particular question, you have to assume that something like that will be asked in every question that you come across. And then you try to work out, ki, okay, how do I get better at doing this? So, so that has to be your, your approach. Of course, once, once you finish your first round in your cons uh, preparation, when you come back to the second, third round in preparation, this is what you do actually. That you come back and you, you analyze your case question, I step karna tha, ye calculation karna tha. Ab isko mer kaise faster karu, kaise more efficient ban jau, et cetera. That's what you do in your second, third rounds. And that's when you can start competing against the top guys. So I hope you like this question and I'll be back with you uh, on the next, uh, video very soon and uh, please do like, share, subscribe and do comment on the videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.